All right, I wanted to put together a video for those of you that are looking to get your commercial drone pilot's license and to give you an idea of the process that I went through and applied for in passing my Part 107 knowledge test and to do it without spending a bunch of money. Initially, I was concerned because I didn't know if I could study on my own and pass or if I needed to spend a couple hundred bucks or more to enroll in one of the courses you see advertised online. I'd already dropped 1500 bucks on a drone and I saw that the test was going to cost another $175. So I was like, wow, this is getting expensive. Can I do this without taking one of those $250 courses? And the answer is yes. You don't need to spend a lot of money to take one of these advertised courses. It's easy enough to do it on your own. And if you follow the steps I took, you'll uh, come out just fine. First, in order to take the test, you have to visit uh, a site called uh, IACRA. Uh, I guess that's how you pronounce it. Uh, and you, you go to this IACRA site to get a FTN number, which is uh, a federal tracking number. And IACRA is an, uh, an acronym for the Integrated Airman Certification and Rating Application. And this site is where you apply for your airman certificate and get your FTN, which you'll need before you can schedule your exam. And then once you've got your FTN, you'll go to PSI True Talent. It's an online testing facility that handles all the FAA exams. And at the top of the page, you'll find a drop down menu where you enter your zip code to get a list of testing sites that are close to you. This is also where you'll pay your $175 exam fee and pick a date for your test. Now to, to pick a date, you need to know how much time you can devote uh, to studying. The FAA suggests that you take at least a couple of weeks and devote 20 hours total study time. Now that works out to about an hour and a half a day over that two week period. Now, I wasn't in any hurry and I wanted to play it safe, so I scheduled my test three weeks out and if I had to guess, I might have spent 25, 30 hours studying. Uh, the extra time that I took was mostly because I'm not as young as I'd like to be, and my memory is certainly not as sharp as it was when I was younger. Uh, I wanted to be well prepared because there was no way I was going to pay an extra $175 to take the test over if I failed. Something to keep in mind is after you set your test date, you can reschedule up to 24 hours prior to your exam time. So if a few days before your test you feel like you're not as prepared as you'd like to be, or you're sick, or Aunt Martha dies, or whatever, you can reschedule. But once you're within that 24-hour period prior to the test, you're committed, and the only way to reschedule is to pay for the test again. The whole process to register and schedule is done online, and you'll, you'll find that it only takes a few minutes. I put links below to the uh, IARCA site and the PSI testing site. Now the first effort I made towards studying was to watch several YouTube videos. Uh, the ones I watched and I found to be the most helpful are uh, the Drone Coach. He has a, a Part 107 drone course. Uh, Tony Northrup's got a free drone certification uh, study video. Um, Another YouTube channel, Better B-Roll, has a free FAA Part 107 uh, test study guide. And then uh, Katia's Buzz TV, she has a complete FAA, FAA Drone Part 107 study guide. It's a slideshow. And then while watching all these videos, I took notes and also I found a free program online that lets you create digital flashcards. It's called Anki, and there's YouTube videos that show you how to use it. But basically, you can type in or paste in a question on the front of the card and then the answer on the back, saving each card as you create them. You can then review all your cards anytime, and as you answer, the program will ask you how difficult the question was, and you rank it as easy, moderately hard, or difficult then the program will flash the difficult cards more often so that you concentrate on the subjects you need to work on. 
it's a really cool little program and it's a great study aid and I've left a link to the download page in the description below. At this point, I became a little concerned that the age of some of these videos might be misleading as I found out that there were some rule changes that came about in April of 2021 about flight over people and nighttime operations. So I did a little research and found an updated video course on Udemy that was only 20 bucks. The course was developed by a certified flight instructor out of Texas named Britton Spader. And it's called the 4-Hour FAA Part 107 Knowledge Test Prep for Drone Pilots. Uh, and he covers everything you need to know along with the latest regulations. Um, and it's well worth 20 bucks and a lot cheaper than the other courses you see advertised that are just so dang expensive, man. The, rick the written documentation that I read and suggest you do the same was, number one, the FAA study guide. And this is put out by the same people who write the questions on the test. So it's a, it would uh, be what I call the Bible of drone pilot study. Also, uh, you'll want to read the actual Part 107 itself. It covers all the rules and regulations, uh, most of which are already presented in the videos, but reading Part 107 re will refresh your memory on these rules. Also, read the Remote Pilot Airman Certification Standards. Uh, this is an outline of all the information you should know to gain your Remote Pilot Certification. It's <laughs> it's a dry read, but it's a, a good idea to go over it for sure. Something else I used to study was the Airman's Knowledge Testing Supplement. And this is a booklet that you can find in a PDF format online, but I chose to buy a hard copy from Amazon. And I was glad I did because it came in really handy. It's the same book you're given during the test and it has charts and diagrams that you'll be asked to refer to by test questions. It's uh, nice to have so that you can learn to quickly flip to the right figure number in the book. There's also a chart legend in the front that's basically a built-in cheat sheet uh, as a, a lot of the questions can be answered just by referring to this legend. You're also going to refer to this book when taking your practice, practice tests and it's really a pain to go back and forth from a PDF version to your test questions on the computer. So to me, it was well worth the money to get a hard copy. All right, once you've studied all the material, you want to take some practice tests. And there are lots of these online. And once you've taken a test, I suggest you go back in the study guide and look at the sections on the questions that you missed. Keep And keep doing this and you'll see your, your scores improve, you know, over time. And this will help you gauge where you stand and where you need to put more effort. For myself, I found I kept going back to the weather section and the airspace section. Those two were the most difficult me and for me, and I uh, suggest you pay extra attention to those subjects. All right, here are some tips for doing well on the test. Three very important things. First, read the questions carefully. Second, Read the questions carefully, and you guessed it. Third, read the questions carefully. I mean, you just, there's too, so many ways you can mess up. Like, you know, is the question referring to above ground level or mean sea level? And these little details can really trip you up. Uh, next, again, buy the supplement, 20 bucks, well spent. Uh, use common sense. The FAA is tasked with providing a safe environment to fly, so keep that in mind when answering questions. Use the process of elimination. The test is uh, multiple choice. One answer will typically be easy to throw out just using common sense. The other two will leave you with a 50-50 chance of getting it right. Uh, know the legend in the supplement. You don't have to memorize it. Just know when you need to refer back to it to answer a question. And don't just memorize questions answers know the information questions uh, can sometimes be uh, phrased differently than what you're used to seeing so knowing the information is a better way uh, than memorizing answers now on the day of the test i showed up 30 minutes early and sat in the parking lot going over my notes so things were fresh in my mind and when i went inside i was given some paperwork to complete and then i had to 
place my phone, wallet, and keys and everything else in my pockets into a bag that uh, they didn't put a lock on. And they have you take the bag into the exam room with you uh, so you still have your possessions. You're given a couple pencils, uh, a piece of scratch paper, and the test supplement book. And if you ask, they'll give you a, like a little four function calculator. Now, you have two hours to take the test. I think I probably spent 30, 35 minutes. So you have plenty of time, so don't rush. Uh, the test to me was not difficult because I knew the information. And based on that, it was fairly easy. And once you've completed the test, you're immediately given a report with your test score and an exam ID number that you'll need in order to complete your application for a certificate at the IARCA site. The report will also give you section codes for parts of the Airman Certification Standards that you missed questions on. And I missed one on dropping objects from your drone and another about operations near an airport. And they don't give you the exact questions you missed, so I'm not sure uh, what they were, but they at least give you a, a hint. And then once you get back home, you will want to go back to the IARCA site and submit an application for your remote pilot certificate. And you'll enter in your personal info along with your exam ID. In a few days, you'll get an email saying your temporary certificate is ready to print. And then the long wait until you get your credit card sized hard copy in the mail begins. And that's typically about six to eight weeks. So you'll be parked out at the mailbox for that. All right, that's about it. I hope you found this information useful. And if so, how about do me a favor and click the subscribe button below. It'll help me build this channel and I would really appreciate it. So good luck with your test.